Hello everyone, my name is Bill here at Science Her Way and welcome back to the ninth day of the Hour of Code week. This is our second week streaming and like I said, it is the ninth day. So welcome back everyone, I hope you're all having a fantastic day and how is everyone? This is really exciting. We only have about three more Hour of Codes to do. I will say three more days, but I'm probably skipping a day, so, but yeah. This is really exciting, this is our ninth day. And today we're doing an hour code I have actually not done prior to this stream. Uh, technically there were two I have not done prior to this stream, but I definitely haven't done this one. So we're doing the Disney Infinity Play Lab. And apparently in the Play Lab you can create your own story or game, but this one is different because we're using the Disney Infinity characters. For those who don't know what Disney Infinity is, it was basically where, uh, let's see. So I think it was on the Wii at first, or the Wii U. So you would go to like Toys R Us or Walmart or Target or whatever, and you get some of the Disney, Disney characters from your favorite movies, like Big Hero 6, uh, Frozen, The Incredibles. I don't know if they did Wally or not. I hope they did Wally. And you get these figures and you would have like some little plate cards and you would place them on this platform and they would transform them into a game. It was basically a huge sandbox game where you could make your own worlds, make your own game modes, whether it was parkour or quests or things like that. So that's what makes the let's play that difference because we're using the Disney Infinity characters. And I never got to play Disney Infinity or anything, but it looked pretty cool from what I could see, but I'm pretty sure they actually stopped development for that. I'm not sure if you can even still buy the figures and stuff for it, or even like get the game. I'm unsure of that, but for those people who have it, I'm sure it still works for them. So yeah, and if you go to YouTube and search it, then you can definitely still see it. So yay. So we're going to be doing that, and for those who are new, we're going to be using the JavaScript Blockly language. So the Blockly language is still JavaScript under the hood, except it's just drag and drop code. So instead of us typing it, we're just going to be drag and dropping it. So JavaScript is the most easiest language, the most easiest. Is that grammatically correct? The most easiest. We'll just say this. JavaScript is easier to get into programming with than you could say like Python or JavaScript. That's what I've heard anyway, that JavaScript is one of the easier languages when you're just starting out programming to get into. And now that's in the Blockly mode where you just drag and drop it and the code is all there for you on the side, it makes it even easier. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. If you have any questions, you can ask them in the chat or uh, whether you're on Mixer or YouTube. And then of course, you can also ask in the comments below after this live stream is not live anymore. I plan to have these live streams still on my YouTube channel since they'll just appear on Mixer after 14 days. But on YouTube, they'll stay there forever unless I take them down myself, but nothing's wrong with them. So I'll probably never take them down unless uh, someone has a problem with it. Like for example, this is Disney Infinity Lab. So they had a problem with it. If they said, if Disney had came and said, yes, we have a problem with this video, could you please take it down or make it private so no one can view it, then I have no problem doing that. But I'm not playing any audio from the videos in my live stream. I don't have any copyrighted music in here or anything like that. And I definitely make sure that this is not, I don't say it every stream I realized, but um, Somewhere on like the image I have, I make sure to say it's this is not sponsored. So I would make sure to say that every stream or even like in the comments or in the description. I do the updated descriptions of the videos, of course. Based on how I stream, I can't edit it beforehand. So I have to go back and edit the descriptions. But I, I am going to make sure to put, put in there that this is not sponsored by Disney or Star Wars or Code.org themselves. I just decided that since we are celebrating kids and adults being able to code and everyone should be able to know how to code and have access to it. Since I'm celebrating it with the Hour of Code, I decided it'd be great to live stream it for those who either couldn't participate or were a little hesitant about participating or weren't sure how to do it or just things like that. They can come and watch my streams every day for about, it was, originally it was gonna be one week but then once I saw all the Hour of Code, I was like, it's gonna have to be two weeks. So. Yeah, this is again, not sponsored by code.org or Disney or any of the past streams. None of these in the past or coming up were sponsored. Even the one by Ozbot was not sponsored. 
And the one about Khan Academy coming up is also not sponsored. So none of these are sponsored or partnered with. I just I just did this as my own free will and decided this would be awesome to do. Alright, so now that we have that out of the way, I've been Ah, that's why. Okay. I'm gonna say someone has added me for some reason. Right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause that. So I'm gonna mute my mic so I do not play the audio in the stream, but if any of you want to join me, you can go to code.org and find the Disney Infinity Play Lab Hour of Code and we can code together. You don't have to code with me, but you can if you want to. You can still ask questions whether you code with me or not. You can code without an account. It's totally free at you know no cost. You don't have to pay for anything on code.org. I personally recommend an account because it saves all your progress but you still get a certificate at the end whether you have an account or not, so it's fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and mute my microphone. Testing. All right, there we go. Okay, so in this one, we, I see we don't have a lot of lessons, so this may not be an hour stream again, but we'll see. So, right here it says, hero is actor one. Use the move block to move, to, to move hero to the right to touch Baymax. So this one's gonna be a little different because usually when we have the move, you know, left, right, up, down, usually it's by a grid or a, a square grid. This one, kind of like the Frozen one we just did about, I guess sometime last week, I believe. I can't really remember the exact time, but it's kind of the same thing because it says right here to move by a certain amount of pixels. And pixels are the little tiny squares that make up any screen you have, whether it's computer screen, it's a tablet screen, phone screen, DS screen, Game Boy screen, anything really. And they're really small, so we actually don't see them at all. 
but it takes a bunch of pixels to make high-res images like these 3D characters over here moving on screen. Now, 3D characters usually don't have pixels, but based on how we're viewing them, we it is technically pixels. I think they're 3D. I could be wrong. They might be 2D. Not sure. But, yeah. So, you can't really see the pixels, but they're there. So, this one's going to be a little, not difficult, but it'll be interesting because since it's not a grid and we're doing it by pixels, it determines how far we move. So we're gonna have to really play around with the numbers to see how far we move in any direction. So we want to move a block here. We'll just move to the right. And I think the run button is behind my, web my webcam. It is, but it's right below here. And your instructions are here. These are all the blocks we can use. So we can move actor one or two. We want to use one. This is hero. He is actor one. Baymax is actor two. And we can choose which way to move, random, I like random, we're not doing random. And then we can either choose a set number or we could probably type our own. Okay, we can't type our own, Never mind. Sometimes you could. And again, what I wish they had was I could show you all the code, the JavaScript. Because right now we can only see the blocks. Sometimes in certain hour of codes, we can see the JavaScript. Either we can just hit the sh show text button or there was one for the first time we could actually type it ourselves. And I wish there was a button that we could show the JavaScript in all of the hour code lessons. And another one we could just type yourself in all the hour code lessons as well. Now, granted, they would probably have to change it a little because in the one I learned where we had to type it, they had to explain that first. Now, they could still explain it, but the people that could or would have to go back to lessons and add that. Well, that little instruction video or just extra instructions. And of course, I, I am aware they have to add the buttons too. And I'm not a professional programmer, but I think just adding a button and that would change it from text to blocks for you to view, not type the one where we can view, might be a little less tedious than having to add to where we can type it and explain that to the user. I could be wrong, the other, the, the other one could be hard too. Not sure. But that's just me. And of course, in the previous lesson, we learned that at the end, there was a step button where it took you step by step through each of the code that the computer was reading. It showed you what it was reading. It still shows you, it highlights it, but we couldn't like click step and then hit step again and actually see it, if, that's, if this makes sense. That I also think should be added in all the lessons, but that's just me. Hmm. <laughs> uh. Okay. Make Anna say hi there by using the say block. Set leafy ground. I will. S I will change the ground because I can. We can do. Let's do flower. I'm not sure what that is. So hi there. Hi everyone. How are you doing? Good morning. What's that? Oh, we have a lot to choose from. I like this. Yes. Okay. We're going to leave it. Oh, I'm not a fan of the flowers. Not a fan. <laughs> All right, so we have another video, so I'm going to mute my microphone and watch it.
All right, so now we're adding a little more interactivity. And there we go. Oh, sorry. So right here we have a block. It says when up arrow. So basically this tells the computer that when this happens, do this. So it's similar to a function. So when we hit the up arrow, we want to move actor up down. I mean, move up and then move actor to down when we hit the down arrow. But I also want to change the background at the same time, just for fun. We're gonna hit random each time. Right here it says Baymax is actor two. Add move blocks and then move Baymax using the arrows. Make him touch the other two characters. All right, so we hit run. So when we hit the up arrow, do do. Oh, so it happens every time I hold it down. Look at that. Hmm. No, something is right. I just took too long. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I was taking too long and it's like, uh, we think something's wrong with your code. I'm like, nothing's wrong with my code. I'm just taking too long. <laughs> so how many lessons do we have? We only have 10. This is only going to take me about, oh, well, we're already 20 minutes in. So maybe in another 10 minutes. We'll see. Hero is actor one. Move from right to Baymax and play a sound when touch, when they touch. When actor one touches actor two, I've dropped the thing I was playing with. When, when two point. And we're gonna do this and we're gonna set the background to random. Oh, I just did it automatically. Well, rip. <laughs> I thought I would get to do it. I thought, oh, I get to, oh, I see, I see why. Never mind. I understand now. <laughs> I thought I had the when right arrow key kind of thing. I didn't. That's why I was so confused. I was like, I didn't touch anything. That would be the reason. And I'm actually surprised because I thought this would be, I thought the Disney Infinity Play Lab would have more than just 10 lessons. I'm a little surprised. Make Anna score a point when she touches a snowflake. Then click run and steer her to touch each snowflake. Can do. And we're going to change the background to random each time. We're going to an obstacle. It's more like an object. So I guess we'll just leave it at anything. So we hit run. Oh, zip. It should be changing. Yay. I'm quite interested to see what kind of game we can make after this. Baymax is actor two. Make Baymax throw a rock at a hero. Why would you do that? So violent. <laughs> and each time, random background. <laughs> we'll rip hero. Baymax, how could you? How could you? Hero was your owner. Well, not necessarily Hero was his brother Tadashi, but still, he was like your your second owner technically legally. He was. <laughs> hero is actor three. Make Hero throw a projectile to each of the four characters. Wait one second between each throw. But why though? Why must I wait? You know what time it is. It's random time. Because I love doing things randomly. The random, setting things to random is probably my favorite thing.
technically it should be down, left, up, right. So we can just do it in a circle instead of, you know, up, down, left, right. It would just be better if we just did it in a circle, you know? No, don't throw it out. Do random. But now let's see this. I don't know what that was. I don't know what happened. Oh, I said I said it left again, not right. I meant right. Sherry, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Won't rip everyone. Yes, repeat blocks. My favorite. I'm going to meet my mech again. Okay. All right, so we have a repeat block. So our repeat block tells the computer to do something multiple times over and over and over and over again, just endlessly until you tell it to stop. So it's pretty cool. So we're going to, every time we move up, set random. You know, I love my random blocks. <laughs> There we go. Technically, I'd need the last one, but we're going to add it in there just because we can. <laughs> so this is going to make on move up and down forever. So that's pretty much all repeat blocks do. They just they just put things in a loop. So you so you would move things in a loop like forever cook this or forever in this case move up and down. This would tell the computer to, to tell our actor in this case Anna to forever move up and down until we break her out of the loop. It will forever set the back the background to random as well, which is something I love. Oh, oops. Can you make? Elsa, Act 2, catch up with Anna by using the arrow keys. Sure. Move Actor 2 up when the up arrow key is pressed, and then do the same thing for the down arrow key, the left arrow key, and the right arrow key. And of course, my favorite block, the random one. Well, the one that says the background to random. Every time I move, it will set the background to a random background. Because we can. And this is one of the great things about coding. There are no, there are there are no set rules for what you have to do. I you know I don't have any rules that say okay when you have the up and arrow down you know all the keys don't do what you're doing right there for change the background. You make the rules when you do stuff like that. So I can totally do this. So that's one of the awesome things about code. You whoops you make all the rules and you decide what is correct and what is wrong when you're coding. You know for the types of rules and stuff for you know setting the background that's. Some people might say it's wrong, but I say, well, in my coding game, it's right. So. Woo, glitches. Woo. I'm 
Well, no, something is right. I'm just not doing it correctly. I'm supposed to catch up to her? I'm supposed to, like... I disappeared. I don't know what happened. I'm... Rip Elsa. And now... Yep, I knew it. There wouldn't be a video here. Now is it going to do me like yesterday? And it's going to be like, oh, hey, you finished it. Now there's going to be a video at the end. Surprise. <laughs> yeah, and we are only 29 minutes in. We finished it. Woo -woo. <laughs> Create anything you like and share it. Uh... What do we do? What do we do? I'm also noticing, oh no, never mind. Oh, these are functions, I'm sorry. I was like, this isn't working. <laughs> so actor one, two, a random, yes. Random everything. Random when actor one touches any actor. Random. <laughs> and then also score a point and play a sound. And then after that, we want to. Hmm. <laughs> yes, this is a great one. Okay. And let's see. We'll just try this for now. Typically, when we finish something and it says, hey, you can make your own stuff now. Typically, I don't show it on stream because this stream is more so about going through lessons and showing the tutorial bits of it and explaining things on stream. That way, people can't understand what's going on. This isn't necessarily a stream where you just see me make stuff in code. If any of you do want that stream, then let me know whether on Twitter, in YouTube, on Discord, player.me, or in, on Steam. So basically whatever I'm on. But yeah, so these streams are more so about the tutorials and not about me making stuff in code. If you want to see those streams, then please let me know. So we're going to hit run. I, I forgot to spawn in an actor. And set actor two. We're gonna do everything random. Cause I was like, well, there is not another actor, and I was like, that's why. <laughs> I didn't tell it to, to spawn in any other actor, so I was thinking like, I don't know what you're doing, but it's not correct. <laughs> and I was thinking to myself, oh, you're right, computer. <laughs> Forgive me. There we go, so now we hit run. I'm actually surprised we didn't get a repeat character. Oh no, we did, there was two heroes. We almost got all the characters. I also forgot to code something else, this, yep. Okay, so what I forgot to code was, when up arrow, move up. So we want to control actor one. So I need to go in here and say, when down, move character one or actor one down and just repeat it. Cause I didn't code it in so the computer's like, yeah, you can press those buttons all you want, but I'm not doing anything. <laughs> you didn't code it in. So now that I've coded it in, it should be there. Okay. Oh, okay, so we have three heroes this time. We actually did better. We did better last time. Last time we almost had all the characters. What is this? Yay! 
All right, so technically we have done it. So I hope you all enjoyed the stream. I know it was short, but I had no idea it was gonna be this short. If I had known there was only gonna be 10 lessons, maybe I would have done something else. Well, if I didn't do something else, I mean, maybe I should record it, but the whole thing was to stream it. So even though these streams are short, it's, um, it's important to do these. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill up my certificate off screen again. And like I said, I hope you all enjoyed it. If you want to do this yourself and make your own game, then just go to code.org and choose the Disney Infinity Play Lab Hour of Code. And like I said, it is free to do lessons. You don't have to make an account. I personally recommend it, but you don't have to. And yeah, have fun. And if you do make something, whether in the Disney Infinity Play Lab Hour of Code, say that five times fast is a mouthful. If you do make anything in there, then please tweet it at me. And not just the Disney Hour, of, the Disney Infinity Play Lab Hour, Hour of Code, but the other ones as well. If you make any of the games, show it to me. I want to see what you made. Because there's nothing more awesome than making something you're really proud of, something you enjoy, and then showing it to people and just discussing coding with them and stuff. So yeah, have fun making your own game, whether in Disney Infinity Play Lab or in some of the other Hour of Codes. Tomorrow, tomorrow we are going to be doing, let's go to it. I do remember what it is this time, but let's just go to it so I can show it on stream. We are doing the, I'm in the wrong section again. No, why? We are doing the regular Play Lab Hour of Code. So isn't that awesome? We're gonna be doing the same thing, but not with Disney Infinity characters. Some other characters, I do know what these two characters are, but I don't know if we have any other characters to use. We'll have to go and see. And if you wanna see too, come join me tomorrow. Starting time will be around 2 or 3 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. And if you do miss it or I start later or earlier, the streams will always be on my YouTube channel for now and forever. They will always be there. So you can always go back and watch them, even ones I've done last week. Just go to www.youtube.com slash scienceherway. And not only will I do coding on there, I would do other things on there as well. It's all Steam related though. So yeah, hope you all had a fun time watching this and I'll see you all tomorrow for the Play Lab, the regular one. All right, bye.